everyone, welcome back to another episode of Simply Crystal. In today's video, I'm going to be circling back to one of my more popular videos. And yes, you've guessed it. I'm going to be reading reviews from a popular or, shall I say, a problematic company. And Fashion Nova, don't worry, you're next. The brand that I'm going to be highlighting today is a brand that's kind of off topic, but it is a brand that I have purchased from in the past. And the more and more that I find myself engulfed in this community, I find that this brand is more and more problematic. Now, for those of you that have not been following my channel, I do have a second channel. It's called Crystal Nail Journey. And on that channel, I do nail tutorials. It's a hobby that I've discovered that I really love and it calms my nerves, it soothes me, and it completely relaxes me. I thought, why not talk about this brand? Because again, it has been a brand that has been on fire lately. The brand that I'm talking about is ENC. You don't know what that stands for? It stands for Email Couture, AKA Exclusive Nail Couture. So there's a nail channel that I follow. She's a very popular nail channel. Um, the nail channels are just now starting to get traction. I think probably like two to three years ago, it was all about the beauty community, but mark my word, like the next big YouTubers are going to be the people from the nail community. They're channels, their fan base are growing. And because of the pandemic, it forced people to kind of learn how to do things on their own. And then I felt like during the pandemic, it really gave those channels a jump in views. And so I feel like once people kind of discovered those channels, it was good things from there. This popular YouTuber, I was on her Instagram page and she had gotten a PR package and people were lighting this company up. They were going in, they were like, she was deleting comments. Um, and then um, she was like kind of going through cleaning everything up, like letting people know that she did hear them and that she wasn't deleting comments and she would be addressing some of their concerns. And I just felt like, you know what, let me look more into this company because I had seen some things go down where this company was extremely disrespectful, borderline racist. Once I saw that video, I was like, I'm not supporting this company anymore. I'm not purchasing their things. That's going to be the end of this. I had purchased from them twice before this. Um, the first time I actually thought they were nice because I accidentally put the wrong address and then they emailed me and was like, you know, hey, you know, this address doesn't seem to be correct. Um, so as soon as you give us the correct address, we're going to ship your package off. And I thought that was really nice. But then the second time, I had to wait an extremely long time. Fast forward, another YouTuber that I follow, which is a smaller YouTuber, she ended up reviewing one of their products and the nails were bending. And I'm going to insert the video and let you all see for yourself because it's, I mean, it's self-explanatory, explains itself. But because of this video that she posted and because he just figured, oh, she's a small YouTuber, I can just put her down and I can say things to her. That ended up being one of the most viewed videos from his brand. And he wasn't expecting that. So I'm just gonna let you all take a moment and watch this video. Hey you guys, so as I'm starting to get products in that I purchased from Black Friday, um, I wanted to give you an update on something. The product I'm going to give a review on today is the Enel Couture 123 Soft Gel Nail Extensions. I posted a video on how to apply these maybe like a week or two ago. Um, but after wearing them for a bit, I wanted to share my opinion just in case um, it may help you out and just so you have an idea um, how it compares to the A-Press system. But I'm going to show you what the 123 Soft Gel Nail Extensions do. Do you see this finger? Now watch this. Do you see that? Hopefully it's showing. But um, it's very bendable. Um, all the fingers were. And I didn't really notice until uh, I was taking a shower. And when I was using the towel to like scrub and clean myself, my finger poked me. And usually if my finger poked me, it'll like scratch or stab me, especially if I have stilettos on. Or if I have something like a coffin, it might hurt if I hit my body too hard because it's like pushing back on it. But when I was in the shower, it's like, it went like this. And I'm like, what the heck? 
been around six years now. And look at that nail, you guys. And it, it doesn't bend. If you see some ratchet... If you see some ratchet bending her one, two, three, go, that's because girl don't know what she's doing. Look at that. How are you going to bend that nail? It's made out of gel. Girl, please. Girl, bye. bye. And yesterday, someone told us that like somebody did a bad review on the one, two, three, go, and I looked at it. I like briefly watched the video because I really don't want to like buy into that kind of stuff. And the girl did not have everything you need to do them. And I was like, she has no idea what she's doing. So I was like, bye, Felicia. She didn't even have a thousand views, and it had been two weeks. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to... Watch the video for three minutes so that way she can get her ads and coins by Felicia. How disgusting was that video, right? Before I go into reading these reviews, I thought it would be necessary to read this email. After I read some of these reviews, you'll understand why this email says what it says. And this is probably the first time that this email said all of these things because I'm still on the email list and I read the emails from time to time. And um, I think that after the whole Instagram thing, if the reviews and the Better Business Bureau, they decided to put the wording on their website as well as in their emails. So the email says, we appreciate the opportunity to help you taking care, take time. We've implemented special procedures as we work to keep our teams and you safe. So shipping of orders is delayed, but processing. Thank you for your purchase. We apologize for the wait. We know how frustrating waiting on a parcel can be. We are working on your order soon. No need to worry. Unfulfilled just means your order is processing and has not yet shipped. Once your order shipped, it will be marked as fulfilled or shipped. You will receive an email with tracking once this happens. We have good news. After discussion with local official and compliance with state and local guidelines, we are shipping from our campus again. So it just seems like they're just adding to whatever their terms and conditions are. They're not deleting anything to make it sound, make sense. They are just adding on top of adding on top of adding to make sure that they don't forget anything. And this particular thing, it seems like maybe their warehouse was shut down or whatever. And then now they finally open and that could possibly be the reason why people have been waiting for months. And my whole thing is that if your warehouse was closed, you should have closed down orders. You should have um, posted it somewhere on your website, which I know you did because that website looked like it hasn't been updated in forever. Um, but you should have let people know because I'm sure people wouldn't have spent the money. What's the other nail company? Um, Kira Sky. When I placed an order with them before the whole pandemic happened, they were like, if you place your order before the pandemic happened, um, there will be a two week wait. If you don't want to wait, you can cancel your order. So they gave you the opportunity to cancel your order if you didn't want to wait, which I ended up doing and they refunded my money promptly. So maybe he could have done something like that. So anyway, it says our top priority is the health and safety of our employees and customers. So we completely redesigned our fulfillment center to comply with the state recommended social distancing and PPE guidelines. What does this mean for you? Processes, processing times will be delayed, but we'll make sure to notify you as soon as possible when your order shifts or if we foresee any issues with fulfilling your order. We are currently finishing up orders that start with the 109, 110, and 111. In the next seven working days, we're working on fulfilling back orders that had XXL square or sport length 123 go nails. If you order is on back order, previous order numbers unship. Once stock is ready, it will ship accordingly. ETA is the first week of June to assist the efforts underway to slow the spread of coronavirus. Our focus remains on supporting the health and livelihood of our employees while caring for our customers and communities. Due to the high volume of orders and the current COVID-19 situation, it may take four plus weeks, which is 30 plus business days. Four plus weeks are 30 plus business days, 30 business days. In one month, you're generally getting 20 business days. So you're talking about one and a half months. Wow, of waiting. A business day is any day, Monday through Friday, excluding holidays. Sender U.S. shipping is four to six business days. And international shipping is 10 to 21 business days. Please be prepared to experience delays with all shipping companies. We are taking extra sanitary precautions to ensure everything is up to CDC standards. And let me just let you know, during the height of the pandemic, it took no longer than seven business days for 
my orders to get to my customers. And that was during the worst times. Now, on average, it took about three days for my customers to get their orders. So we're increasing the frequency of regular schedule cleanings, sanitization efforts, and distribution center and factories. We're recommending all employees take precautionary health measures, including frequently hand washing, social distancing, staying home when sick, and pausing all non-essential work travel. After an order is processed, you will receive an email with the shipping confirmation and tracking number. Thank you for understanding and co cooperation. We are ensuring accuracy and the quality for each order. Due to new policies, we are unable to combine or ship separate orders together, or at the same time, we are unable to offer express shipping at this time. Orders placed after March 16th are not eligible for cancellation. Kindly note, all of this information is on our facts section and terms and conditions prior to purchase. Once an order is placed, you are unable to cancel or modify an order. order. All sales are final. So sorry for the inconvenience. We truly appreciate your patience and understanding. Thank you so much for your continued support. I mean, poor grammar, uh, a ton of like one-sidedness. Wow. And then again, thank you for your continued support of emailcouture.com. Please follow our social medias to stay up to date on any announcement and new launches. We appreciate you and your business. Have a magical day. Best regards, team ENCP. Um, and then this is the kicker. All sales are final in all caps. No refunds, returns, or exchanges. Please fill out the online form for any customer service related questions. Any questions or concerns sent to Max's social media accounts will not be answered. Max is the owner. <laughs> I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. Like, how bad is that? Like, that's unbelievable. Like, that whole long diatribe of, like, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this, no returns, no this, no, which I understand all of this stuff, especially during the pandemic, but, like, why are you so rude and harsh and mean to your clients? Like, they need you and you don't need them. It's like, ah, I got your money. Like, so now you have to follow our rules. Like, that's horrible. That's extremely horrible. And that's part of the reason why I will not purchasing from this brand and I'm not supporting this brand. I mean, and I will even show you when you place an order, what it looks like. Like they give you like this long list of rules that you like letting you know, like this is what's going to happen. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing like in this email and it is like extremely horrible. Even on the box they have like all sales are final, no return. I mean, Long Hair Pretty Nails was like talking about it and she like couldn't have said it any better. Take a look at this. So in this video, I'm going to be trying out some products from Exclusive Nail Couture. So personally, I don't order from eNail Couture anymore due to customer service issues. But so this is how the package arrived. I blocked out all of my personal information, but it has this meat market grocery store final sale sticker on it. And I just feel like this speaks volumes for the customer service issues that I'm going to talk about later on. But it almost Almost feels like I got your money and it ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I placed an order. This is probably like my fourth or fifth order at the time. And I was buying some monomer because I used to use the cotton candy monomer. So I ordered the monomer. It came in the mail, but it came in like that same package that you saw in the beginning of the video and this was a big bottle of monomer so the bottle ended up getting squished and a good amount of the monomer spilled in the package so i emailed max and i was like hey i just received my package and the monomer spilled and so he got right back to me he said hey just send me some pictures and let me see what's going on so i took some pictures to show him um you know that the monomer spilled and what i was missing And so he said, okay, I see that you ordered many times before. Next time you place an order, just go ahead and call us and we'll add some more monomer to your order. 
and I'm thinking like okay that doesn't help me now like I didn't get the monomer that I paid for so that kind of just rubbed me the wrong way like if you're not gonna take care of me when I have an issue, I'm not gonna order again. I'm just not. So yeah, I also just want to show that when I place my order, and yes, I placed this under my husband's name just in case. I didn't want him to know that I was ordering because I didn't want the package to be biased in any way. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and ordered and look at this huge disclaimer on the checkout screen. <laughs> it's basically saying that when he drops the packages off at the post office and something happens or if something's damaged or something like it's not his fault. That is just crazy. Like you're supposed to take care of your customers if there's an issue. I'm just saying. Now that we have the backstory on email couture, let's get into some of these reviews. Ordered two months ago, nothing. No response for, from customer service via emails. Any questions on so, social media or deleted. Never order from them. I mean, uh, order from them on May 5th and still haven't received my order after a month. Even after the website said eight to 18 days for processing time, which only appears after your order is placed. Wow, shady, shady, shady. What other company was doing that? Leave it down in the comments section below. And if you get the answer right, then you will be entered in my drawing where I'm giving away 44 piece glitter set. Anyway, I'll have the description right here. But if you know what other company was doing stuff like this, please leave it down in the comment section because uh, I just want to make sure we see each other. So the owner, Max Estrada, continuously insult customers on social media who call him out for his unprofessional customer service by calling them toxic Tiffany's on Instagram Live or deleting their comments. Also mocks customers by saying if they ask where their order is that Carol Baskin has it which is extremely unprofessional. Wow. I sent an email to customer service asking for the status of my order and have not received a response in over two weeks. Instead of releasing new products every two days, he should focus on sending out tens of thousands of orders that he supposedly has sent out. Also says that he doesn't do refunds once the order's place, which I don't even think is legal. He blames his slow shipping on the coronavirus, yet when I order from others, I receive my order within a week. The business needs need to be either shut down or handled more professionally. Um, what I can say at this point is call your credit card company and cancel the order. Say that you've been waiting for so long on the website. This is what it shows. The order hasn't been sent. He says there are no refunds and I'm still waiting on my order. I've reached out to customer service. Make sure you screenshot everything. They have not responded. I want my money back. That's the way you do that. And I'll tell you something else. Conducting business like that, calling people toxic Tiffany's or Carol Baskin has it, um, you're going to get yourself into a lot of legal trouble. Like it does not take that long to process an order um, during this coronavirus unless you are the only person packing orders and you fired your whole team or whatever. But when I make stuff, like I'm physically making masks from scratch, it does not take that long. Like I can make 30 masks in one day, or I've made 61 masks in one day. So I don't think processing, like packaging an order is more work than actually constructing a mask. Clearly, and, and I'll tell you, this review was on the 5th of June. Clearly he has changed the amount of time that you're waiting. And this person says eight to 18 days, but yet they've been waiting for longer than that. Next review. I placed an order on April 16th. It was a moderately sized order with about 24 products supposed to be delivered. I waited patiently for 8 to 18 business days to pass for shipping confirmation as was disclosed is the current shipping time with the COVID precautions. On May 12th, I emailed the company asking for an update to my order as 18 business days had passed. Two minutes later, I received an automated message saying that the orders can take up to 18 business days to ship and that my order was being worked on. I placed my trust in the company 
and decided to be a little more patient. Eight days later, I responded to the same email thread asking for an update on my order. No response. On May 26th, six days after not receiving a response, I wrote, wrote out a stern email detailing that I felt this was poor business practice. They should update the people who are trying to support them. They took a moderately sized sum of money from me and refused to communicate when, when can I re expect to receive my product. As of today, May 29th, I still have not received my communications back. I did, however, decide to check on Maxis, the founders of the brand Instagram where he had been live just 16 hours ago. He said he was deleting comments that were negative and informed the audience that his fulfillment center was working on orders starting with 107 and 108, where mine started with 103. He told the audience that if our number had been passed, it was on back order from a product being out of stock. I do not need to be following this person on the social media to receive updates on my order. I did not flame or use explicit language in my email to the company, yet I have to question if they decided not to respond to me because of my email included criticism about the brand. I supported this brand previously, but they have lost a loyal customer. You cannot take money from customers and then decide not to update them on the product they purchased. This brand has also specified that you cannot ask for a return or cancellation for any orders placed after March 16th. They are holding my money hostage, not updating me because they have decided I was being negative and refusing to communicate. Even though I love the product, quality, price, packaging, literally everything, I would think twice before placing a new order with the brand. They clearly don't want to retain any type of supportive following or help the people who have vested money into their company. And this is one of those companies where they fool you once, shame on them. They fool you twice, shame on you. Uh, generally, it only takes one time for a person to place an order with them and they will never come back. This is definitely the pattern of um, a one-time only type of company. Allegedly, let me just say allegedly. Horrible customer service. They are incredibly rude. They are thieves and liars. No email for confirmation of or no shipping. Rude list of rules after you confirm your order. No refunds for anything and big bold letters. In other words, no matter what happens, we get your money and you get nothing. Should have just paid bills. Used after pay, so now it's going on my credit card. And that's the thing about that. That just absolutely sucks because not only are you getting interest, but she's literally getting interest before she gets her product. So the last order. This one was on 5-26-2020. When I placed my order on April 28, 2020, I was told shipment would take 18 days. After almost a month, I called and they haven't shipped my items but have taken my money. I asked for an estimated shipping time for shipment and they refused to provide any information. I then asked for a cancellation since items are not shipped and they say that due to COVID-19, they are not taking order cancellations. Is this even legal? Oh, I also asked them to expedite my order since it has taken way more than 18 business days and they've claimed that due to COVID-19, they have stopped expediting shipment. They were misleading to me with the amount of time it will take to ship, but are very smart to have updated their website now claiming it will take at least 30 days to process and ship after my several calls. I have no desire to do business with them and want a full refund for my money they took from me. Um, reviewer, if you are listening to me, which I hope you are, or anyone that's in this situation, if you are listening to me, first of all, sign up for their email list. If you're on their email list, you can literally go back through the emails and pull up an, uh, an email around the same time that you placed your order and screenshot it, send it to your credit card company and get this stuff reversed. Also screenshot the email that you sent to them and the communications that you had back and forth. And also let your credit card company know that they say that there are no cancellations because at the end of the day, you can't just say, no, there are no cancellations. If you as a company are not even following your own rules, why should you expect your customers to follow your rules? Like all of the wording, the rules that you have placed upon your customers go out the window. So if you guys are watching and you are in this predicament, take screenshots, write to your credit card company, write to Afterpay. Because in order to be a merchant on Afterpay, you have to follow their rules. And if enough people get together and they contact Afterpay and let them know what is going on, Afterpay will stop the program with their company. They will literally terminate 
the contract, the agreement that they have with them if they're having too many complaints. So I would recommend reaching out to Afterpay, to your credit card company. You can even contact Shopify because I think they're on Shopify. Let them know what type of practices this company has and Shopify will close this account down, refund you your money. Like they will literally go into their accounts and start refunding their money. There are still ways around it and you can get your money back if that company hasn't held their end of the bargain. Like there is no way that any type of credit card company or payment processing company is going to just allow a company to take money from you. And just because they have in their rules, no cancellation, no refund, no exchanges, doesn't mean that they're going to just allow that company to take money from you if you haven't received your, your, your products. Like no, 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 no way. Also to something to notate, Email Couture has not responded to any of the reviews left on the Better Business Bureau, and there are a lot of other sites where they have even more reviews out there about that company. So to everyone that's watching this video, take a look at the reviews. If you are okay with still supporting this company, even after everything, then I would say purchase at your own risk. And keep in mind that this is going to happen to you. Like at this point, it's not happening randomly. It's happening to every single person. So if you like their products so much and you want to continue supporting them, this is what you're going to have to deal with. You guys have been burned by this company. Like I said, reach out to your credit card companies, reach out to Shopify, reach out to Afterpay and let them know what this company is doing. And until you get your money back, stay on their necks. Now, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to press that thumbs up video. And if you thought this video was entertaining and interesting and educational, take a moment and show me some love by subscribing. Also, if you want to follow me on other platforms, here are my socials. We have fun. We really do. With that being said, I thank you all again for joining me. I wish you all nothing but peace, love, fashion, beauty, and wine. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye. <laughs>